Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new to my channel. I'm Shelly and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And if you want to check out any of my stores or follow me on Instagram, it is all under Shelba Posh. Um, but I also have those linked down in the description box below for you. And today's video is a ship with me. So this is from the weekend. Um, it's actually Tuesday. Normally I will ship weekend sales on Monday. Um, but I actually went into Boston yesterday um and that will be a video so you'll see that um but so today i'm shipping my weekend sales and i kind of want to do, do a little ship with me i haven't done a, done one in a while and i actually have sales from all three of my platforms um today which is poshmark mccarty and ebay so i figured i would just do a little ship with me um i feel like this is decently typical for a weekend for me um I don't list at all on Saturday or Sunday. That's like, you know, I work five days a week um, in that way. Me and my husband can hang out and do whatever on the weekends. So I don't work on the weekends. Um, so I don't always have like amazing weekends. It's kind of typical, I would say. Um, but I did want to do a little um, ship with me. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I use majority of the free um, mailers and items from the post office. These are the Tyvek mailers, which I use um, for a lot of stuff. So first we have this swimsuit and this is from Andy Swim. And I grabbed this at the Goodwill that is attached to the bins location that I go to. And this actually has sold um, once before. It is new with tags, but the sanitary liner is missing. And so they um, wanted to return it because of that and Poshmark sided with them, which whatever, it's fine. You know, I got it back so I could sell it again. Um, so it sold for $30, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, I forget, I think it maybe sold for a tiny bit more the first time, but I don't think a ton more. Um, so hopefully, and I did, um, when I relisted it, I did um, say, you know, missing sanitary liner, but is new a tag. So there is this. So $30 on that one and grab my little trash can over here. All right, next we have a bundle. Oh, and that was an offer that was sent to me. Next we have a bundle of two men's um, Lululemon polos. And this actually was again an offer sent to me. Someone bundled these two polos and sent me an offer it was um, a $60 offer and the bundle was $80. So I did accept that and was happy with that. And these I got not too long ago. It was at, um, I did a video about it. It's called West Main Thrift. And it's a little bit of a smaller thrift store. I had never been there before, um, but they had some decent stuff. So I had grabbed both of these at that store and happy with a $60 sale on it. So those will be going to their new home. And then next we have a pair of marine layer shorts and these are a men's short. And these I sold for $21. I think it was, I had sent out some offers and then they had countered at 21. And I went ahead and accepted um, just because, I don't know, I am trying to move stuff as long as I, you know, if I'm making a profit I'm happy with and stuff and if it's a little bit older or whatever, I'm happy to accept and I'm definitely seeing a lot of um, movement on more summery items. I've been selling a lot of shorts and some swimwear, which is awesome. So there's that piece. So definitely make sure you're listing anything that is spring or summery. Okay, next we have a pair of shoes and I use the medium flat rate box most of the time for shoes. And this pair of shoes is a pair of Rothy's and I actually got these at the bins. So pretty inexpensive. Um, and I actually, Poshmark reached out to me for the Earth Week shows that they were doing. And this was, um, and they had a Rothy show like with Rothy's and they wanted um, some sellers to come on and sell their shoes. So um, I went ahead and did that. And these sold for $20, which I'm happy with. They're from the bins. They hadn't been moving. Sorry if this is a little loud. I go ahead and wrap each shoe individually in some tissue paper just to keep it 
um, nice in there so they don't get hurt in transit. Um, but yeah, I was, you know, it's not a huge um, amount for a Rothy's, but like I said, they're from the bin, so very inexpensive. And I'm happy to move them and hopefully the person who gets them, I don't know if they're, if they might be a reseller who bought them, which whatever, you know, that's fine. Um, because I make a sale and hopefully they can make a sale later as well. So yeah, $20 on those. And I got a little tissue paper on my tape. Ooh, and I just use um, a tape gun for boxes. Okay, so there is this one. So yeah, $20 on those. And I'm actually gonna rip off this. Oh, and the labels I use, I use um, a Dymo label printer. So they um, are like adhesive, but if you um, want to learn how to use, here I can actually show you, I have one on hand. Um, these little adhesive labels, they are free from the post office. I do have a video um, already posted. It is my um, getting started on Poshmark part two, and that's linked down below. And I tell you how to use these and they're totally free. And that way you don't have, to, if you don't have a Dymo or you don't have a label printer of some kind, um, these can be used in your normal at home printer and they're adhesive. So you don't have to use tape and stuff like that and cut out labels or whatever. So I used to use those before I got a Dymo. Um, but yeah, that video is linked below. I'm also coming out with a new video for, um, all beginners for Poshmark. If you want some tips and tricks for shipping and how to ship and stuff like that, um, that will also be coming soon. I filmed it already, but I still have to edit it. So, okay, next we have one more pair of shoes from this, um, weekend and it is this pair of platform. They call them platforms. I don't know why, um, Tevas and that is how you say it. Teva. I know a lot of people say Teva, but actually like on their youtube and their instagram it is teva um and anyway but i absolutely love tevas i've been wearing them for years now and so i mean they retail for a decent amount they retail the like classic style retails for 50 um like the platforms and different styles retail for more but i grabbed these at the bins and they only sold for 17 dollars but Again, that was someone who had received an offer from me when I sent out offers on my whole closet, which I do daily, and they countered at like 15, or maybe even lower, maybe like 13, and so we kind of went back and forth, and we got to 17, and I decided to go ahead and accept that because again, you know, now we're coming into sandal season, and just happy to sell some stuff where I'm still making a good profit on them so with shoes I always wrap each shoe and then I also put some little like this is like packing paper and I kind of put that right on at top just to make sure that they're not like moving around a ton in transit and you know some shoes it's not going to matter as much but um, like leather shoes and stuff those can like rub against each other and like create scuffs or scratches or whatever so you do want to make sure you're packing shoes pretty well. So yeah, $17 for those. Put those over here. I'm going to get rid of some of these labels. All right, next we have a pair of pants. These are from XCVI. And this was from my last Savers haul. And I actually had sold, this brand does decent for me. Um, I have just started picking up a little bit more now, even at like regular thrift stores to try it out. Cause like previously I'd only picked it up at the bins, um, but this was from the Savers and they weren't marked super high. And I had sold a pant from this brand before for $50 on eBay. These ended up, so, so I listed these at 50, I wanna say. And these ended up selling for 30. Someone sent me that offer and I went ahead and accepted and just happy to get that sold pretty quickly as well. Okay, next we have a pair of sunglasses and I have a bunch of like these um, bags from The Real Real because I do sell on there and if they don't accept an item, they'll send it back in one of these bags, so I have a ton of them. 
Um, and this is a pair of Ki Kuei, K, I don't know exactly how to say them, sunglasses. And I had grabbed these for a dollar at a little thrift store. I did not make a video of it because it was um, just kind of a, I was out with my husband and we went to a little thrift store day, but um, I put this in here just to protect it. And if they want to store them in that or whatever, I think that would be good as well. But these sold for $40. This is my first time picking this brand up. I found two pairs and they were each a dollar. So I was like, um, I'm going to try them. And the other pair were not as sought after. I think those sold for 25, 25 or 20, maybe 25, I think. Um, but these ones were a little bit more sought after. So I listed them a little bit higher and I listed them at $45 and someone accepted an offer that I sent out for 10% off, which was 40. So um, definitely will pick that brand up again if I see it for a good price and good condition and stuff like that. Both of those weren't um, super, like they weren't scratched up or anything, which is awesome. Next, we have a dress. And this was in one of my last couple bins hauls. Um, it is the brand, well, it's sold at Tuckernack, which is an online website but it is the brand, um, what is it? Pomenander Place. And this is a maxi striped dress. And this actually, I listed it at 50, which if it was in better condition, I did show in that video, there's a couple stains on it. And if it was in better condition without the stains, I probably could have sold it for um, 50 or more as soon as I listed it, it started getting a ton of a ton of attention And I think either the next day or maybe the day after that like within a couple days Someone sent offer th for $30 and I went ahead and accepted since it was flawed um, I had grabbed it recently at the bin so happy to move it so quickly and hopefully they really love it And they got a really good deal on it um it retailed it's still on the website actually i think it retailed for around 130 i think it was so yeah they got a great deal on it 100 dollars off next we have this patagonia bra and this is also from the bins and this sold for 13 dollars, which is pretty low um, but actually when i had grabbed it there was a little bit more wear on it than I realized when I was at the bins. So I listed it pretty low. I think I listed it at 20 or 25 maybe. And someone sent me an offer for 13. So I accepted that because originally I actually wasn't even gonna list it. I was just gonna redonate it. But I decided to list it, see if someone wanted it for low and someone ended up wanting it. So I'm happy that will be going to a new home and not in the landfill. All right, we have a few, we have one more Poshmark and then we're into Mercari and eBay. So the last Poshmark is this pair of American Eagle mom jeans. And these had so many likes, like they had over 30 likes. I don't know why I had, a, I usually list my American Eagle around like 30, 35, um, depending on condition and style. But, um, so these had so many likes and I had sent out offers, you know, multiple times on them up to like 30% off, I think, and no one accepted. And then randomly someone new had liked it and they sent me an offer for $25. So I was very happy to accept that. I don't know why they had so many likes. It was kind of random. They're just a mom jean um, and size four. So a little bit smaller. Um, American Eagle jeans definitely move a lot quicker. And for a decent, more decent price, I would say, um, if the size is a little bit bigger, definitely faster if it's a bigger size, um, but there's that. So, and I don't need this. So I'm going to grab some other mailers. I do have to use um, different mailers for eBay and Mercari. So for eBay, I do have these like eBay branded ones because since I have a store on eBay every quarter, they send you a, I think it's $25 um, coupon for their store. So make sure you're using that if you have an eBay account in a store. And then these are the ones I use for Macari. Um, they are from you pack and ship, I believe is the brand and they're made from 70% post consumer plastics, which I like. So, um, let's go ahead and get into these. 
So first is our one Mercari sale. I know, you know, Mercari, um, if you saw them there, or even if you don't saw them there, you probably heard how they totally changed their system. So they no longer have seller fees, um, but they did change it where um, even for fit or if they don't, just don't like the item, they can return it. Um, it's still, you know, they still have to return it within three days. So I have sold, I want to say like five or six items on Mercari since the change. Now without the seller fee that the seller would be normally paying for, um, they're putting that onto buyers. So, you know, I think less sales are going to happen over there. Um, so far I've still had a few, like I said, like five or six, um, which I'm, you know, I'm happy with still getting some sales over there. I haven't had no issues yet with the returning of items. All of mine have gone through and I've been paid out already, so it's no issue with that. So, you know, we'll see. I think I'm still going to continue to cross list because I do pay for a cross listing um, service. And it's like I might as well cross list on there because it takes like Mercari is like one of the easiest ones to cross list because you barely have to put any information on there. Um, most of the stuff is sent over already through my cross lister and I just kind of do size and price or no size and and how much it weighs and that's it so i will continue to cross list over there because of how easy it is for me to do but definitely i don't know if i would start on there if you have not been selling on there before but if i since i already have an established sale or store over there i think i am going to continue to sell over there um so this sold for 31.50 which was a full price sale um, when they made that change, they gave you a little option to lower all of your prices by 10% to try to move some stuff. And I went ahead and did that. And I think I've had like two sales that were full price from that. So happy to do that. And then now we're on to eBay, which I have three sales on eBay. This first one is a pair of men's chubbies shorts. And I love selling chubbies. They always sell very quickly and for a pretty decent amount. These hold for 25. So um, these were listed, I think at 35 and I accepted a $25 offer, which I was happy to accept. So again, definitely selling more spring summer items right now. So get those listed if you have any sitting around. So that's our first eBay. And then next, this was a very exciting sale. And also I was almost about to send these into the real reel. So very happy that they sold. These are a pair of mage pants and these I had grabbed. It's been over a year now at the, um, what's that place called? Nordstrom rack sale. Um, that Nordstrom rack sale, that was like their five, 10, $15 sale. I had gotten quite a few items from that and I have sold most of them. But these were still sticking around and I either got them for 10 or 15. I think it might have been 15. So a little bit higher. And I had them listed at 150. And like I said, I was thinking about sending them into ThreadUp or the Real Reel or something. Because they were just not selling and they had barely no like barely any attention. But I got an offer for $120 on eBay. So very happy with that. And let's see, they're going to California. So I hope they love them in California and then our last item on eBay and the last item from this weekend is this smart wool men's long sleeve top and this I had just grabbed I think maybe even, my, even in my last bins haul maybe it was one before but very 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 recently and I had it listed a little bit lower I think at like 35 um, just with a little bit of pilling on it no holes um, but even in that video, I said that this will probably sell pretty quickly and it definitely did. So this sold for 27. That again was an offer that was sent to me and that is all of my sales. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe if you are not already subscribed to my channel and you can also click the little bell notification to be notified when I post, which is usually twice a week. So Definitely subscribe if you want more reseller content, um, ship with me's, thrift hauls, a lot of thrift with me's as well. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.